And I thought, wow, I thought, I'm going to do this. And my first little session was with three guys, broken, in prison. And I didn't know this is the genesis of Man Up. I sat there, so I thought I'd share my little past. And these guys slowly lifted their heads and went, oh, didn't think you'd been into that. I didn't think you did that. It's in the major cities in Australia. And the Australians are starting to take to it too, like duck to a water. Um, it's changing in Aussie, you know, good old hocker. They're finding out that um, now that uh, Man Up has crossed the boundaries, it's not just for brown skinned people, it is also for those who are pale skins. Right? <laughs> and then Asians, now we have India that are taking it. Pakistan has Man Up, and now in Kenya. So it's spreading around the world. Now, you would have thought some time ago that at least one of these politicians would have had two brain cells working together to figure out that this would be probably the most effective program to deal with the crime that we've seen escalated to this point and how bad it's got, you would have thought that they would have come knocking on our doors. But oh no. And probably tonight, you and the viewers, and by the way, welcome to the online audience. You're probably thinking, oh, you know, is that your thing, Brian? Are you making money off it? Are you, is it a pushing your religion or whatever? All of this stuff. Well, I want to be up front tonight so you know there's no conflict of interest. I'm open. Um, man up is effective. That's just a simple bottom line. It's the most effective program in the country right now for turning the worst of the worst and those who have got issues that don't do harm like some in society, like a husband or a father or a grandfather at home who has hidden secrets and he's never divulged them to his wife or to his children and that sort of dysfunction can have its own effects without having to be a criminal but you know it can bring despair, it can bring depression anger, sexual abuse, um, lack of love, hate, jealousy, all those things. Man Up deals with the whole lot. It's like a good old vacuum cleaner that's put inside you and it sucks it all out. I hope nobody else in the world's hearing this because New Zealand's going to be the laughing stock of this world. No experience with people. No understanding of what's outside of their offices or their universities have come straight from and into some political school of politics or business or whatever and then straight into political power. Ex-CEOs, boardroom buffoons. <laughs> and I'm not being critical to all of them. There are some good people. But I'm saying to you that our parliament has primarily been run by people who just have no idea at all about the people they are governing and they're totally out of touch with reality. No wonder this country's in a mess. They have no idea. So let's stand Hipkins up because I'll, that's the biggest problem. You've got the wrong politicians. You've got incompetent politicians. New Zealand, you cannot vote people who just look the part to you, who, who are like, like professional politicians. We don't want any more professional politicians running our country. I don't want any more academics coming out of university who want to try their latest social engineering experiment on us. I don't want any more people like Winston Peters who's been around and he's a charlatan that changes colours and he's untrustworthy and he's done more harm in his 30 years than good. So stop voting for him. The way to do that is this, that if you want this law and order policy, the two Christians can't give it to you and neither can Mr uh, Seymour. They cannot deal with this problem. They've got pen pushers and strategists, bureaucratic strategists that are trying to write stuff. They'll even try and pinch some of this and rework it. Yeah. Yeah. You can take my ingredients, but you can't bake my cake, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I hope nobody else in the world's hearing this because New Zealand's going to be the laughing stock of this 
world.